A second judge has ruled on the laws passed in Wisconsin's lame duck session at the end of 2018. Now, the lame duck laws were passed in extraordinary session, a session called by the legislature to hurry and make changes, restricting the powers of the incoming governor, Tony Evers. It included limits on and positions on lawsuits. It impacted waiver requests coming out of the state. It impacted laws implementing those waivers. It impacted appointments to different positions across the state. Now, there was a first challenge on the grounds of whether or not extraordinary sessions were even allowed under the Wisconsin Constitution. The second challenge was whether or not the lame duck session violated the separation of powers of the Wisconsin Constitution. Dane County Judge Remington ruled on March 26 that indeed parts of the extraordinary session did indeed violate the state constitution's separation of powers clause. This was only five days after Judge Neese ruled on the extraordinary session being unconstitutional. Remington issued his decision in order granting in part the plaintiff's motion for temporary injunction, but he denied the motion to stay pending appeal. So he did say parts of the laws that he determined to be unconstitutional do need to be stricken, and they stop right there. They don't continue should the uh, legislature want to appeal. Now, the legislators have indicated that they will be appealing this decision, the parts that they disagreed with. But in the meantime, uh, Judge Remington upheld the lawmaker's ability to block new Governor Tony Evers from changing state laws. So there were provisions of the lame duck session that Judge Remington allowed to stay as is. Those were some of the things that we talk about all the time, those provisions um, saying that the state has to implement the demonstration waiver that allowed work requirements to be added to Medicaid or drug testing to be added to our food share program. Judge Remington did not have a problem with those state laws being restricted or moving forward the way that they were drafted in the lame duck session. He did throw out the legislature's ability to block actions with uh, regarding withdrawal from federal lawsuits. And we know Governor Tony Evers, after that first judge rules, went ahead and pulled out, pulled Wisconsin out of the Texas versus United States lawsuit, the lawsuit challenging the Affordable Care Act. So here are a couple comments coming out of Judge Remington when he was describing why he thought parts of uh, the lame duck session were unconstitutional. He cites the Wisconsin Constitution is like the keel on a great ship. It defines the structure of state government. In December 2018, the legislature and then Governor Scott Walker upended the balance that is the state that has had for 171 years. The time has come to right the ship of state so Wisconsin can resume smooth sailing. He stuck with his sailing metaphor when describing Wisconsin's constitution. You can read that decision in order. Like we said, there has been an intent that the, um, at least for the provisions of uh, whether or not the governor can pull out of lawsuits without getting the approval of the legislature, that the Republicans said they will be appealing. They have yet to do so, but we will keep you posted as more develops in this suit, which it will in the weeks ahead. Both parties have said they would like an expedited opinion on these. In the meantime, we have people in those appointment roles, for, for example, wondering whether or not they should be going to work. You can send us your questions on this and you can find us at healthwatchwisconsin.org.